I want to start, as we always do, with commitment announcements and some remarks <clears throat> from a few people, followed by a really exciting panel where we will further explore the state of the still embattled American dream. But first, I'd like to bring on stage for the first commitment announcement our anchor sponsor from the beginning of this endeavor, my good friend <clears throat> from the J.B. and M.K. Pritzker Family Foundation, Mr. J.B. Pritzker. J.B. <clears throat> and before the morning's over, I want you to compliment him on his purple do here. <laughs> He's becoming quite a fashion plate in his old age. <laughs> Believe it or not, he picked it out. So, uh, well, thank you, Mr. President. And I, uh, I want to say that uh, a year ago, our foundation made a commitment here at CGI America to accelerate the availability, quality, and visibility of early childhood development programs for at-risk children. I promised that we would spend this last year conceiving and committing to an early childhood innovation accelerator to address these issues. Well, today I'm delighted to report that we have launched the $20 million first phase of the accelerator, and it has invested in three groundbreaking initiatives to increase access to quality early childhood programs and improve outcomes. I'm proud to announce the first of these, the first ever social impact bond that privately finances a public early childhood development program. Joining me in this announcement today are my partners in this endeavor, Goldman Sachs, represented by Andrea Phillips, Vice President of Goldman's Urban Investment Group, and United Way of Salt Lake City, represented by Bill Krim, its Senior Vice President of Community Impact and Public Policy. I also want to acknowledge our other two partners, Granite School District in Utah and Voices for Utah Children. The state of Utah enabled this private investment because since 2006, it has applied targeted interventions for three and four-year-olds that have proven to significantly reduce special education costs. The social impact bond will continue the existing program and expand it to 450 more disadvantaged children who otherwise would go without services. Our second accelerator initiative will provide software solutions, technology solutions, using data to improve outcomes for our youngest children. Acelero Learning and its CEO, uh, Aaron Lieberman, are assisting governments using data to track the progress of children, enabling early learning practitioners to deliver better programs and results at a lower cost. Our third initiative is the realization of my commitment last year to launch a Chicago early learning portal, providing parents with a clear path to quality programs linked to Illinois' easy-to-understand star quality rating system. With Mayor Rahm Emanuel, whose idea it was, Smart Chicago Collaborative, and University of Chicago's Urban Education Lab, we launched chicagoearlylearning.org. In summary, boost achievement, reduce inequality, efficiency, effectiveness, strengthen our future workforce, Today, I urge funders here to partner with the Accelerator to secure a brighter economic future for America and for our youngest children. Thank you. <clears throat> 